new, 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 new. Okay, new products. Um, and a new product, but worth mentioning, this is Adafruit gift certificate. Need a last minute gift? Give them an Adafruit gift certificate. Yep. Okay, let's go into the real deal. Okay, so we've got a couple of updated products, but they're updated enough, um, I wanted to mention them. So this is the uh, feather wing that's a terminal block. Um, now it comes fully assembled, which makes sense because if you're gonna get a terminal block feather wing, chances are you wanna just plug and play your feather and you don't wanna have to solder in all the terminal blocks. And so we now, it's the same price, but now you get it fully assembled. It had all the parts in place already. I thought I would just show it really fast on the over heady. Um, yeah, hold on. So, um, yes, yeah, so this just comes exactly like this. So there's an on off switch, which uh, turns on and off the, uh, the enable pin. And then you just take whatever feather you have and you just pop it right into the headers. And then you can use the terminal blocks to connect up wires or sensors or neopixels or what have you. And it just makes it really easy to, to make your project, um, you know, a, a put it into your kit. And yeah, so we already had this in the store. It's just now it comes fully assembled. Okay. All right, next up, an oldie but goodie in Revisi. Yes, um, this is the console cable. I didn't bring one because it looks just like it does in the photo. Um, we've had this console cable for a couple of years now and um, we've historically had it with the prolific PL2303 <laughs> chipset which is a good to find chipset, but it's not good at really high speeds. Like it doesn't do uh, 900 kilobaud so well, and it doesn't do unusual baud rates. So for example, like the ESP266, the um, data comes out at like 77 kilobaud in the beginning or whatever. So this chipset that we've replaced it with, the Scilab CP2102, does much, much better because it, it has a chip that can do weird baud rates and extremely high baud rates as well. Okay. So it's updated. Otherwise, you can't tell the difference. Just okay. Error. And this is a little bit of it's not out yet, don't ask, but we were able to announce this today. So the micro bits coming to the USA. We were allowed to say that uh, it'll be in a different store. Um, you can sign up. Um, we can't say when they're going to be in. Nope. But if you uh, sign up, you'll get an email when the micro bits are able for us to ship. There was about almost a million of these given to UK school kids in seventh grade. Um, it runs a Blockly-like thing. You can run MicroPython on it. It's pretty neat. But just because um, it's not a product that you can buy, it doesn't mean there isn't something that's something to the microbit that you can't do something yeah, with. Yeah, we, well, we also kind of coincidentally this week got these connectors in. Oh, one could say we're getting ready for something big. It's almost like we're getting ready for something cool. big. So this is the connector that um, you use with the microbit. So the microbit has a card edge connector. And so to connect to it, you can use alligator clips on three of the pads, but to get to like the I squared C pads, you need to use a card edge connector. So I thought I would show a little bit how that Let's works. Show it. Let's show it. So this is the connector, just because this is handy. So it's a through hole connector and you can see the contacts. And um, if you have a micro bit, here's that card edge connect. So see how there's all these little um, teeth in between the big pads. So you've got like the three volt ground and zero one two pins. These are all um, analog pins, but if you want to use the rest of the pins, all the pins in between, you'll need to snap in the micro bit like that. And then you would solder in um, these contacts. Now there's a lot of contacts, there's 80 contacts, but not all of them are used. First off, the back half are not used at all. These aren't actually connected. And that's so that, you know, there's no chance of you putting it upside down and it doesn't work. So you can only use the top pads and also um, these big contacts, they take up like three or four connections at a time. So you end up getting like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's about 20 something pins that you get total. And some of them are just, there's like multiple connections for the, the you know, three volt and multiple connections for ground. So this is good if you want to make accessories, things that plug into the micro bit, if you want to have like a robot controller or you want to have a more advanced interface for your micro bit, this is the connector you'd use and you'd just through hole solder it to your PCB. Okay, and with that, Lady Ada was the new products. Yay!